Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. My name is Yolima and today uh, I will do a brand overview but it's more first impressions of all offerings from this brand and of course the brand is as you might already know by the title uh, Pure Distance. I have here the sample pack comes in this beautiful white box here you can have you can see the um, name of the brand Pure Distance Master Perfumes beautiful looking box this is the concept of Pure Distance simplicity and beauty and pure elegance um, how I get this box well I was fortunate enough to be invited by Ricardo the owner of MC Niche Perfuming Shop. I already talked about the perfume shop uh, in a couple of my latest videos. And he invited me because the owner of Pure Distance um, was there for an event just to present the, his fragrances, uh, the brand fragrances of course, and the concept and everything. And also to present the uh, latest release which will be officially released in March of 2019 I will get there and of course everyone who was there got this beautiful looking box so you have here this is a cardboard box and this is where the samples are sitting uh, this is a very gorgeous looking box it has a leathery touch here you can see the logo and it opens just like this and here this is a silk foam type of feel your distance here you have a booklet right here here you have the colors of pure distance and here you have the pictures and the stories and all fragrances that you have here as the notes so here it is. I love the attention to detail here. This is a silky pouch where you can carry one of these uh, samples with you. Each one of these is a two mil sample. Very beautiful, silky touch here. Love it. So let's do it. Um, Pure Distance is a brand based in the Netherlands and all the fragrances have between 25 to 32 percent of pure perfume oil so they are very concentrated and they are very long lasting very complex also despite the concept of the simplicity beauty pure elegance their fragrances are very elegant and upscale smells of luxury this is a very luxury brand love their bottle presentation i have here i'm fortunate enough to have m this is a 100 ml fragrance bottle of M created by Roger Dove. The brand works with other mass perfumers. Here you have their creations. So let's start. I will test them on my skin just to give you my personal experience with these fragrances. So let's go. First, I will start with I. I'll leave the bottle image right here. So let's try. Okay, <laughs> there you go. It was a bit hard. Oh, okay. Let this settle. I get a soapy quality, very floral. And leaning more to the feminine side but it's it's not scratchy at all it's it has like a natural smelling feel but yeah all I get right now it's soap floral type of scent more feminine mm, okay um, it's not a love I like it Mm. But it's not a wow fragrance. Um, let's see the notes. 
So, I or one. Here you have it. This is the image that represents the fragrance. You have three types of size bottles. You have the 17.5 ml, which is more of a travel size. You have the 60 ml and the 100 ml. Just like this, beautiful presentation, very luxurious again. So, Pure Distance 1 was created by the renowned perfumer Annie Bouzantian in New York. Annie initially made this perfume for herself, creating her own private masterpiece. Just like the quiet beauty of Grace Kelly, Pure Distance 1 is understated elegance in its purest form. Notes, you have Tangerine Blossom, Cassis, Neroli Bigarat, Magnolia, Rose, Jasmine, Natural Mimosa, Sweet Amber, Vetiver and White Musk. So yeah, you have the Neroli, the Tangerine Blossom, the Magnolia, yeah it's very floral. Now the soapy quality it's fading, yeah and all I get it's this white floral type of fragrance. Slightly sweet, but definitely you will not feel a room with this. This is very intimate fragrance, it, and it has 32% of perfume oil. So again, very concentrated, very long-lasting. Yeah, it's good. Um, I like it, but again, it's not my type of scent. It's more for I see this more into the feminine side like I told you it's a quiet beauty it's a quiet fragrance it's a quiet scent it's an intimate fragrance yeah but it's very pleasing I like it. if you love florals try this one although you by the color you thought it's more of an amber based scent something more masculine but no <laughs> actually no but still very good now we will go to dive in, let's continue to dive in into this journey. Next one will be Antonia, this one right here. I'll, again, I will leave the bottle image, so let's try. Antonia from Pure Distance, okay, here you go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Intriguing, at least. Okay. I don't know how to describe this scent. Uh, yeah, it's again, it, it's not masculine at all. Um, again, floral. Hmm. It's a type of scent that. If you will smell, you will not detect anything. It will bloom step by step. But yeah, this again, very floral. And again, leaning more to the feminine, but different. Yes, very different. This is a sweet white floral. Oh, and this is more has more of a soapy quality than this one one <laughs> yeah <laughs> then this one one <laughs> interesting uh, let me see the let's see the description and the notes so here you have the image attached to this fragrance Antonia let's see created by the master perfumer Annie Buzantian again in New York pure distance Antonia is a highly original green floral with a great lushness and warmth of heart, but at the same time, chloe and gentle as can be. Key in the creation of Antonia is the image of a strong, positive, but at the same time, gentle woman. Yeah, I can see the greenness, although it's on my skin, I don't get much green, that green quality. Notes here, jasmine, rose, ylang ylang, it's the Lang Lang that I was smelling. Yeah, that it's totally not my type, actually. But Oris, Ivy Green, 
galbanum, vanilla and vetiver and it has 25% of perfume oil. Yeah, very white floral. The main notes that I get, definitely jasmine. I can see jasmine here and ylang ylang. Yeah, um, actually, for me, I prefer one than this one. This one, it's more floral heavy. Well, I, jasmine and ylang ylang tend to be more heavy. I don't get much auras here, but at least it's this is on my skin. Rose, also I don't get much rose. Yeah, jasmine and ylang-ylang, definitely. And this hand, again, has a soapy quality, more pronounced than in one. Let me compare. Oh yeah, I much more prefer one. It's more subtle, more subdued. The sweetness also, it's not overwhelming at all. Yeah, this one is stronger, and if you love, again, Ylang Ylang, especially Ylang Ylang, I think you will love Antonia. So this one was the second sample that we tried. Let's continue. Now, third will be, oh, M. Well, no need to show the bottle because I have it right here. I can show you previously. This is a 100 ml bottle, but it comes again in the 17.5 ml and 60 ml. This has 25% uh, of perfume oil and it was created or with the collaboration of Roger Dove. M is a leather fragrance. For me, the best leather fragrance that I ever put my nose on. And if you want to have a reference, um, Try or if you have a Bel Ami by Hermes, is it's not the same, but it's in the same character, like in the same family, if that makes sense. This, but this is very spicy and very leathery, and it has a vintage feel into it. I love this this fragrance. Um, so I will give you the the note. I don't need to try this one because. I already tried a couple of times and they pull you compliments in. But again, this is not a fragrance that you will wear every day, you know? And like these two, I think these two, yeah. These two fragrances are more to daily base use and it's to formal special occasions. M, noble, sophisticated and sensually exciting. Here you have the image, it's attached to M. Pure Distance M is sumptuous, sensuous and complex, but at the same time noble and sophisticated. Created in London by Roger Dove, M is a leather chypre of classic proportions with an unexpected oriental twist, which lends the perfume an original and modern feel. The warm smoothness of the blend is incomparable. So ingredients, you have bergamot, lemon, rose, jasmine, Cinnamon, patchouli, moss, cistus, vetiver, vanilla, leather, and musk. Like I told you, 25% of perfume oil. I don't get any bergamot, any lemon, any rose, any jasmine. <laughs> All I get is cinnamon, patchouli, leather. And I get like a cumin also. Uh, although it's not listed here, but I get a lot of cumin, so it's weird. Um, and yeah, it, it has also musky feel, uh, vanilla, also I don't care. It has a touch of sweetness, but it's not, it's not the main characteristic of this scent. If you love leather, try M. For me, it's the best leather. Soon I will do a leather list, but hey, you already know what's my favorite. Uh, so that was M by Pure Distance. Now we will go to Eau Pardieu. Where is the box? Oh it's here so Eau Pardieu it's also I think it's more of feminine um, of course these are all unisex but I have the image of feminine and more masculine um, so here you have Eau Pardieu I'll give the bottle image now let's test 
Oh, back do. Over here you go. Hmm. Okay, it has a stronger opening than these two. Yeah, the Ylang Ylang here is very prominent. So, Au Pardu. Yeah, again, it has a feminine touch, definitely. Fresh, floral, again. But here, I don't know if it has iris. I, I think it has some iris here, maybe. But it, it has like a vintage feel, if that makes sense. Like a vintage feminine fragrance with a modern twist. Yeah, quite, quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, again, not my type of fragrance, of course. Yeah, but it has a vintage feel. Let's see. Annie Buzantian. Oh, by the way, here is the image attached to Opardu. Here is the presentation. So let's see. The romantic memories of vintage Paris. Here you go. Annie Buzantian from New York succeeded in creating a perfume that revives the rich beauty of a bygone era. Eau Pardue has an instant hypnotizing effect that evokes memories of love, romance and seduction. Eau Pardue is full and lush and as the scent wears on, the more ethereal elements continue to shine. Ingredients Tuberose, Gardenia, Bulgarian Rose, Purple Lilac, Carnation, Jasmine, Heliotrope and Cedarwood. Okay, you don't have iris here. <laughs> But yeah, it's very floral heavy, and like I told you, it has this vintage feel, definitely. Yeah, well, if you are into this vintage floral type of fragrance, try this one. This has 32% of perfume oil, and of these three that I have, definitely is the strongest one. So, au pardieu. Now, Let's go for the number five, and it's black. Actually, it's my second favorite from the brands, black. So, you already know this is more leaning to the masculine side. Let's see. Here you go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Definitely, my type of sense. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, it's very dark. It has like a smoky touch. Oh, resinous, slightly resinous. I don't know, it has patchouli here. Oh, again, it's, it has also a vintage touch, but it's modernized. Oh, love, love black. Uh, it's my second favorite from the brand. So let's see. This is the image attached to black. Very elegant. Three words that pure distance describes black, mysterious, warm, and elegant. Pure distance black is created in Paris by the famous French perfumer Antoine Lee. He created a perfume of the highest quality that is close to the wearer and releases sensual and elegant scent layers in a whispering and sophisticated way without shouting. Oh, so good. Um, actually, the ingredients here are not listed. Uh, as a consequence of the concept of black that treasures the beauty of the unknown, we do not reveal the ingredients of pure distance black. Okay, so. What you get is what you get, and so in on each skin will be different, of course. But yeah, I get this balsamic incense patchouli. Slightly resinous. 
woody. Wow. I love this fragrance. Definitely deserves more attention. These fragrances, I get why they don't have much attention. They are very expensive, but you can get a partial or decant just to have an experience with this beautiful scent. This one definitely on my alley. Oh, black. Very good. Now, let's go for the sixth fragrance and guess what will be white. Here it is. White from pure, pure distance. Let's try. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I didn't smell anything, maybe because I already I'm already full with all these scents, but oh but it's more subtle, citrusy. It has like a silky quality. It literally smells like this, <laughs> if that makes sense. Hmm. Definitely citrusy with a touch of floral. This is perfectly unisex. In my opinion, yeah, definitely strictly unisex. Hmm. Perfect for summer, actually. So let's see. This is the image of white. A dream in white and gold full of happiness. It's how Pure Distance describes. And uh, then they say that white was created to make you smile and feel happy instantly. We asked Antoine Lee in Paris to create a white and golden dream, an intimate escape from harsh reality using the best and most expensive ingredients in the world. And so he did. This perfume will brighten up the moment and warm up your world inside. Definitely, it's very uplifting, fresh, citrusy, floral. I think it has, here I can sense the rose. I can sense a rose note. Let's see the notes. Oh, here you have rose. Rose, orris, sandalwood, bergamot, tonka bean, musk, vetiver, and patchouli. Yeah, for me, rose, bergamot are the main players here. But very natural smelling, but here it's very smooth, silky, uplifting. I really do enjoy this fragrance and perfectly unisex. Nice, nice scent. Again, this will not shout, this will not project all that much. And this has, talking about that, 38% of perfume oil, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I like it, I like it also. Not a love, but I do enjoy it. I see myself wearing this during summer, for sure. So this was white. Now, next one we have Sheiduna. Let's see what Sheiduna has to offer. And here we go. Ooh. Very nice. Wow. Okay, this I think this is what this one is my third favorite, definitely. I love this fragrance. Well, guys, I already see that the time here is already very long, so I will be quick. The image of Sheiduna, Sheiduna Oriental Sensuality and Parisian Elegance. I will just leave you the notes now. It's lemon, tangerine, blackcurrant, aldehydes, Bulgarian rose essence, geranium, clove, 
vetiver, patchouli, amber, woody, incense, benzoin, myrrh, tonka bean, vanilla pods, and musk. Wow, this is a oh, very ambery, vanillic. Oh, I love this fragrance. Definitely my third favorite, Shade Luna. Again, for me, even this is leaning more to the masculine than feminine. And I don't know, yeah, patchouli, yeah, definitely patchouli here, it's very prominent, at least on my skin. Love it, love it. My third favorite is Shade Luna. Now, last but not least, it's Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Here you have the sample. Now let's see. Here we go. Yeah, this one is more feminine, definitely more feminine. Oh, wow. Um, this one is very intense also, right in the opening. Very floral, uh, yellow flowers, if that being said. Maybe it has ylang ylang also, I don't know. Here is the presentation. I think it is, yeah, Versova. Here you have the image. So, takes you to the world of Old Chic. The ingredients are galbanum, grapefruit, violet leaf, jasmine absolute, broom absolute, orris butter, patchouli vetiver, and styrax and it has 25% of perfume oil. Whoa. Yeah, definitely has a vintage feel also. But honestly, I get this um, yellow floral type of scent. I would say that ylang, -Ylang would be an ingredient, but well, it's not listed. it has one, but it's very floral indeed and more to the feminine side. Hmm, very elegant. So, my favorite definitely, it's M. My second favorite is Black, and the third is Sheiduna. Wow, Sheiduna, man, it's very good. Um, oh, and by the way, their new release will be Aeolus, and it's a bergamot, and it's a fresh bergamot, and it has the best bergamot scent note that I ever put my nose on. Very fizzy, very effervescent, natural bergamot. Incredible, and it has 8% of perfume oil. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, my longest video that I ever did, and see you in the next one. Take care, ciao.